San Diego is a great vacation spot for the whole family. Parents will love relaxing in the sun at one of the many resorts with kids clubs. Kids will love adventures to the world famous San Diego Zoo, Legoland in nearby Carlsbad, and SeaWorld. That's why I love planning San Diego trips for my travelers, and I wanna help you with my San Diego city guide. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. San Diego is one of the most family-friendly destinations in the country. It has mild weather, a famous zoo, world-class theme parks, and 70 miles of stunning coastline. Sandy beaches, crashing waves, and curiosity-stoking tide pools will capture your children's attention. When it comes to hotels, families have a ton of options. Downtown high-rises have cool, cool perks for the pint size, as well as bayfront resorts with an easy reach of SeaWorld. Some of my best, um, my favorite accommodations to send families is the San Diego Mission Bay Resort. It's centrally located, makes you easy to get to all your planned adventures. It's also a destination in itself. Great restaurants, relaxing pools, spa services are perfect for adults to rejuvenate while the kids enjoy activities in their very own wading pool. There's tons of family fun with resort games and action sports rentals as well. I also love the Omni La Costa. At first, you might think that the Omni is created just for grown-ups. After all, it has two PGA Championship golf courses, 21 tennis courts, a world-famous spa, and a yoga and wellness center founded by Deep Hack Chopra. Um, yet this resort caters to little ones too, with its excellent supervised children's program for six months and up, and a 4,000 square foot activity center called Kidtopia. There's three pools and a family-friendly playground called Splash Landing. One of the pools is zero entry. There's interactive water play zones. That's fantastic for toddlers. So it's really, really a great resort to escape, relax, and then also get to all of those planned adventures as well. And then of course, there's the Hotel Del Coronado, probably the most famous San Diego resort. If you're looking for an incredible beach, then look no further than the Hotel Del. Um, it's on the Coronado Peninsula. In the summer, the resort offers family activities like beach bonfires and movie on the beach. There's also the option of beachfront dining and lounges as well as Dell Sports featuring surfing and paddleboarding year round. The Dell um, is a tourist attraction in its own right. It's a luxury hotel renowned for, an ex for its weekend brunch, high-end shops, and its immaculate stretch of beach. Because of the resort's glamorous vibe, it's been the setting of several notable movies. Most notable, Some Like It Hot, starring Marilyn Monroe, was filmed in this location in 1958. Um, you can also read about the history of the hotel and its famous patrons on the hotel website, as well as in the New York Times article titled The Hotel Coronado's Past Lives. What can you do in San Diego with kids? Of course, there's the zoo, the San Diego Zoo. You can't bring kids to visit San Diego without going to its famous zoo. It's regarded as the best zoological centers in the world. Great for animal lovers at all ages. What you may not know is that there's also a San Diego Zoo Safari Park. In the Safari Park, you're immersed in an active hands-on safari experience where herds of animals roam natural habitats in a vast reserve. And the only two platypuses in the U.S. swim and splash. You can choose from a variety of exciting safari expeditions by caravan truck, cart, zipline. There's even an overnight option. Everywhere you look, there's amazing views of lions lounging in the grasslands, antelope and giraffe mingling, rhinos wallowing in their water holes, and so much more. You also get to engage in close encounters with animal ambassadors. So you really get this immersive experience. So the San Diego Zoo is, is a zoo. And the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is very, very... Um, rooted in adventure and exploration, and then of course, conservation. 
Speaking of conservation, there's also SeaWorld San Diego. It's home to world-class animal shows, presentations, and exhibits spread out in the beautiful Mission Bay Park. There's, of course, a ton of rides with loops, laugh, and thrills, in addition to all of the sea creatures who call SeaWorld home and the um, presentations they do on conservation and the way that they, they save and revive these sea animals is absolutely incredible. Um, still talking theme parks here. There's plenty of them in San Diego, but of course Legoland is in nearby Carlsbad. I love Legoland's. Legoland is one of my absolute favorite theme parks and it's recommended for families with children ages two to 12. When I first went, I was 14 and I still loved it. You get to enter the world of knights and princesses to conquer the dragon coaster. You can get a driver's license in Fun Town. You can marvel at the cities built entirely out of millions of Lego bricks in Miniland USA. You can meet Lego costume characters. You can play at outdoor playgrounds or um, enjoy some, one of the beginner coasters, Coaster Saurus. So Legoland is so much fun for, for kids and then Lego fans just to see some of the amazing things that they've built. Let's transition now to Balboa Park. Balboa Park is the nation's largest urban cultural park. It's home to 17 museums, gorgeous gardens, historic buildings, San Diego Zoo, restaurants, and performing art venues. If you plan on visiting multiple museums, you should purchase a Balboa Park Explorer Pass. Some of my favorite museums to check out with kids are the Fleet Science Center, Natural History Museum, Model Railroad Museum, Air and Space Museum, and the Museum of Us, which is an anthrop anthropology um, focus. There's also Belmont Park. So that was Balboa Park. There's Belmont Park, which is a traditional California seaside amusement park. It's free to walk around, but you need tickets for the games and rides, like the historic roller coaster, an arcade, carnival games, um, zip line, laser tag, mini golf, and the new go-kart track. Um, if you have been following me for any length of time, you know how much I love Dole Whip. And if you don't follow me, make sure you hit the bell so that you get more great videos about traveling with as a family. Um, Belmont Park has an on-site Dole Whip truck, so which is so exciting for me. There's also a fun family-friendly beach bar called The Beach House. Old Town San Diego is fun to step back in time to this historic area. Um, staking claim as the birthplace of modern California, Old Town is where the first Spanish settlers arrived in 1769 and built the first of 21 missions in the state. Today you can wander through 15 historic buildings. There's a variety of stores peddling souvenirs, homemade soaps, candies, and more. Older kids might enjoy a tour of the Whaley House, which was featured on the Travel Channel's America's Most Haunted. Parents will enjoy the amazing selection of food with over 20 eateries, many boasting some insanely delicious Mexican food. Check out some of my favorite um, foodie towns here in this video. Of course, you can't go to San Diego without enjoying the beach. And so one of the great ways to do that is kayaking through the sea caves. La Jolla, um, La Jolla is right nearby and the ecological reserve there and the nearby world famous La Jolla Cove is great for kayak kayakers. You can see a ton of marine life, including sea lions, seals, Garibaldi, leopard sharks, shovel nose, guitar fish, and the occasional dolphin. So really, really fun kayaking. And of course, you're in California, so you can learn to surf. I love the Surf Diva Surf School, um, which was founded in 1996 in La Jolla. It's considered the gold standard of surf schools worldwide, fulfilling dreams and empowering students to learn how to surf while being conscious of the ocean and the environment. There's a team of 50 elite surf instructors trained to teach beginner levels and handle advanced, advanced coaching. So the um, so much fun to be able to learn the surf is surrounded in the, the surf culture of California. And if all of that seems like way too much, you can just relax at the beach. San Diego has 70 miles of coastline and a variety of beaches. Most locations have lifeguards in the summer. And just a few of my family favorites to pop into is Mission Bay Park. It's the largest aquatic park in the country. It has eight beaches for swimming and space for recreation. Fire rings are available on a first come first serve basis. And Bonita Cove in Mission Bay has playground equipment, which is popular 
for families with tadpoles. Um, La Jolla Shores is a mile-long beach in La Jolla. It's adjacent to that um, ecological reserve. It has gentle waves, soft sand, as well as a playground at Kellogg Park, which is great for those little littles. Um, the children's pool is a small beach that's partially protected by a seawall and a permanent lifeguard station. This is where you probably will catch some sight of seals and sea lions, um, but keep in mind that this beach is closed during the harbor seal pup season starting in December. Coronado Beach, uh, we talked about um, when we talked about Hotel del Coronado, but the beach can't be beat for mild waves and white sand, so that's a great one to check out as well. Um, San Diego area and popular family attractions are a bit spread out, so ma no matter how you arrive, you'll probably want a car to explore California's second largest city. If you don't come by car, you'll probably want to rent one. If your drive's a long one, here are some tips for traveling with kids during lengthy car rides. Keep in mind that May and June are the gloomiest months, so even if you may be ready for the beach, the weather is enough for locals to refer to the heavy clouds and morning fog as May gray and June loom. It's well worth investing in a San Diego, a Go San Diego Pass. You'll save up to 55% on top attractions, including the San Diego Zoo, SeaWorld, the new Children's Museum, and much more. Those considering fall um, are in luck. October is Kids Free San Diego Month with 100 deals just for kids. San Diego Zoo is massive, so you won't be able to do it all in one day. Start your day, start by planning. Take a look at the map on the zoo website and plot out your plan. Guests can take a 35 minute guided bus tour on a double de decker bus that gives you a good overview of the zoo. There's also the option for the Kangaroo Express bus that stops at several locations for guests to access the different areas. Do the guided bus first, sit on the first deck towards the middle for the best views and talk about which you're, what you're gonna wanna do as a family. There's some great books to get excited before your trip. Above Coronado by Joy Rabb, who Pooped in the Zoo, San Diego Zoo by Caroline Peters Patterson, Balpoa Park, A to Z by Jennifer G. Lansrath, and Larry Gets Lost in San Diego by John Skew. If you are looking to have a family movie night before your San Diego trip, Some Like It Hot and Top Gun are great movies to watch with those older kiddos. If San Diego does not sound like the type of place that you want to go, check out our our guide, 18 Summers. There's 18 destinations that I love for families, and it's organized by age. So no matter what age or stage your kid is in, you're going to find a destination that your family will love. So make sure you get that video. Make sure you hit the bell to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, and don't forget to take a break from the busy. Planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.